Meg Matthews and I'm at the Meg's Menopause Conference this year in the Westminster Hall. So this event is about bringing women together, breaking the taboo, breaking the stigma, all that menopause rubbish that we've been brushing under the carpet for God knows how many years. I just want to bring it out in the open so we can be completely honest and then it helps out with our partners, our children, our sisters, our mothers. So basically the whole part of what we have been hiding, bringing it out and being really open. Okay, so for me, I really suffered. So five years ago when I was 49, 48, I basically had the worst anxiety and I didn't leave my house for like three months. And mentally, it just depleted my life completely. And I really actually thought that I was having like a nervous breakdown and I was on like antidepressants and I shouldn't have been on anything like that. It should have all just been about HRT, replacing my hormones, taking CBD, which now, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't like, it wasn't depression it was just a flat feeling but my whole life completely changed it went from like, overnight like a tsunami of me being this really outgoing you know exercising to just laying on the sofa like just living in sweatpants and and basically just my life just disappeared from me and, and it affected my family Yeah, my sleep was completely, I didn't understand really why that sleep was. All of a sudden, I, I used to always be the best sleeper. I've got ADHD, so basically I'm a million miles an hour. So when it comes to the evening, I, can, I fall asleep like a baby. Like, you know, I'm not one of these people who's up at 12. And then all of a sudden, I was just like one o'clock, two o'clock, just wide awake. You know, tossing, turning, you know, just like even even everything like cotton or whatever um, pillowcases, you know, felt I mean I, I I'm I'm a big advocate of silk pillowcases, not because of that, just because of tossing and turning, it sort of rubs your face raw. And then now the HRT and taking the progesterone before you go to sleep at night helps you sleep and then the C B D oil also sleep like a baby. Number one, um, basically I would take CBD before I go to bed. I'd take it in the morning as well, which basically just helps with the anxiety and the emotion, just life in general, helps you to sleep. Number two, um, you take your progesterone um, tablet at night. That also helps with that. Also, I keep everything blue, with a blue light. So laptop, iPhone, anything like that is out of the room. I'm a big advocate of crystals. There's a thing called Shungite. It's from Russia. It's the black crystal. Basically, most cancer research places or cancer things they make tiles of it because it can't have any any emf so any g5 or anything comes in any blue light is going to affect your hormones and affect your melatonin and people just think yeah 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 but i promise you after four or five days you're keeping everything out your room and also we need to make melatonin we also need to be in pitch black another good thing is if you can wear an eye mask people don't know that we have so much street light as well as noise pollution in london you don't know that even a little bit of light streaming here it gets through my blinds i didn't even notice i think my room's black but it's not so I just think these are really important for sleep So then when it comes down to sheets and sleepwear, then I would definitely use linen. And then a really big brand, of course, is Soak and Sleep, which I am promoting because I'm only promoting them because they are really good. And sleep is the most important thing that we need. And if you're comfortable and you can sleep well, and also I've just got to say, my daughter only uses linen. She loves it. She just loves that crisp feeling. So it works in both ways. She's always like, whenever I've tried to give a really expensive um, thread count, she's just like, I don't want that. I don't want that. I want linen. She likes that crisp be linen feeling and also you don't have to iron your sheets there you go so yeah it's perfect so I just think once you've got your sleep pattern then you're absolutely fine that and you wake up the next day and it helps you get through the day so when you've had a good night's sleep everything about in the morning changes even the eating habits so I know when I'm tired I, I want to reach for carbs you've got no energy Everything is, is, you get bloated, it just doesn't work. But when you've had a good night's sleep, there's nothing better. You think, yeah, I want a green juice, I want fresh fruit. So it's all, it's all like this one moving conveyor thing about really with the sleep and how you're eating well. The more exercise you can do, the better you work, the more sex you're going to have in your linen sheets. Everything works wonders.
My typical bedtime routine is I am um, one of these people who go to bed really early, okay? So I usually go to bed, um, unless I go out for dinner or whatever, but usually I am, um, I'm an intermittent fasting person. So I, I only eat between five and 10. So usually I have early dinner. So for me, it's like 5.36, I'll eat. And then I basically am in bed by nine. But that's me, then 10 o'clock I'm asleep and then usually now with the CBD, with the sheets, with everything in the right temperature I can sleep throughout the night. But I do wake up at 5 a.m. every day. When I get up at 5 a.m. and then I do these things called Zen swings for 20 minutes where it's, it's like a swing, it's like more of a Tai Chi. I do that for 20 minutes. Then I'll take on, I'll watch, um, um, I'll write my day for 20 minutes of what I want to achieve for the day. And then the next 20 minutes I will pick some TED talk or something that I wouldn't even want to think. It's something that just pops into my brain. I won't be thinking I want to do mindfulness today. It will just be something that it tells me I need to watch. And I do something for 20 minutes that I would not usually do. And that's my, and then by 7 a.m. I'm all yours.